Hey guys, this is Mr. Aegis Tech here. Today we're going to revisit the iOS 4.2 beta. Now I'm going to be showing you this on my iPad. So first thing we do, I'm going to just show you that I am running it. So we'll just open that up. And you'll be able to see right there it says 4.2. Now if you didn't know, this 4.2 basically brings uh, multitasking, just like that and all the other features like categories to the iPad. So here's the iPad. Um, first things first, you have the HD wallpaper in the back. It looks very high quality and it looks very, very nice. So if you just slide to unlock, you can see we have Game Center right here, one of the big features. So let's just open that up and we'll see exactly what's in there. So. I do have my normal game center all set up right here. So it's just going to load that. So you can see all my friends, all my friends from YouTube. Um, if you want to add me, I'm Mr. Aegis Tech. You can add me. Anyone can add me if they want. So that's that. It has the games. So let that load. You can see all the games I've played. And if you go over here, it actually has. Um, a little animation right there. If you could see, it just like zoomed right there. And you can click any one you want. I'm not going to click any because I don't want to go into the App Store. So that's very cool. And um, basically, that's Game Center. You guys all know it. Um, actually, it does work right now. Chromag, an app called Chromag. I believe it's in here. And. Basically, it allows voice over IP chat, which actually does work on the iPad as long as you're on Wi-Fi. So that is very nice. So that's that. Game Center is Game Center. You guys pretty much know what's going on with Game Center, but multitasking on the iPad is definitely awesome. So if we go into an app, and then let's say we're going into settings, the transition is very, very cool and uh, quite sleek so it goes into landscape of course now as some people may have noticed the um, orientation lock will switch to a volume toggle so right here that will switch to a volume toggle very 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 weird cause it's actually advertised that this is a physical button for orientation lock now if you go like this that it's the lock like that. Now, the difference between this and iOS 4.1 is it will lock it in the position just like that. I believe this is only for the iPad. So that's just a little weird. So I would rather have the physical button because I definitely do use that a lot. Um, another huge, huge aspect is categories. Same thing as iOS 4.1. You click on it, simple as that. You can hold more icons just like before, just more because it's a bigger screen. And uh, yeah, so I'll just show you that. Drag an icon in, drag one into there, pull it out though, I don't want it in there. But um, that's that. You guys all know categories. We also have unified inbox, so we have the new layout just like that. I do have some mail, and you also have the combined things, but again, this is touching upon stuff that's already known. Now, if we go open up Safari, and let's just um, open up Hack My iPhone, you will see up here at the top, there is a new button right here, and this is basically has um, printing options. So if we hit print, um, just hit continue and you have to select your printer. Of course it's not going to detect my printer because mine is not set up. You have to set it up through um, air sharing on the computer I believe and you must have compatible printers. But when this actually works that's gonna, definitely going to be really really handy especially with the apps uh, pages. So that is very nice. Now it is also implemented into the photos app so I'm going to show you that with something random like this. Right into here there's a print so you can see that and just like before it's right there. Now um, the weird thing was when 
uh, Steve Jobs showed it off at the keynote. There's like a little printing part right here. Now I haven't actually been able to test this kind of stuff yet, so that's kind of uh, stinky. But another thing, I've noticed a few modifications with a few apps like um, YouTube. YouTube has a little bit different um, when you view a video. So let's just go over to my videos. I noticed that links actually work. So like right here, you can click on a link. I don't know about you guys, but before this did not work. So if you click on a link, it actually does work. So that's very, very nice. So just like that, you load up links. So that's very nice. Um, for the most part, the beta is very uh, smooth. You can see right there. But I have noticed that it, the iPad actually does lag a lot when you have open applications. So that's something to worry about. Now, as far as jailbreak goes, there is no jailbreak for the 4.2 beta yet. But there is an exploit. Of course, you guys know of the Limerate exploit. And the um, exploit used is an A4 processor exploit. And it basically um, works on any firmware from uh, 4.1 on. Now, this exploit is tethered, but um, the reason why Lime Rain and Green Poison was not tethered was because they used user land assist um, because of Comex. He found a user land exploit. So um, that's that. But if a jailbreak, if the official firmware comes out, they basically can jailbreak it right away, although it may be tethered because the user land exploit may be patched. So that's something to think about. But the iPad on 4.2 overall runs great. Now, there has been a little confusion lately. The iOS 4.2 Beta 2 has recently expired. Some people were thinking the Beta 3 expired, which I'm actually running right now. But obviously it's not, and that was just the Beta 2. So that's something to keep in mind. There is no release date for the um, beta firmware, or actually the official firmware to be released to the public, but it should be soon because it seems like all the bugs are worked out and the beta works great. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below if you want to see anything else more. And uh, don't forget to thumbs up because this is my 200th video on Hack My iPhone and I think I'm almost to 3400, maybe like 5, 6 more subs, something like that. So, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see anything more. Any uh, video ideas or suggestions, just leave a comment down below. And I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.